Hi guys, it's Sebastian from Fronius and today I'm going to talk about shade management. Before I continue and explain how a Fronius inverter deals with shade, it's very important to understand some fundamentals when it comes to modules, all right? So there's a lot of misconception out in the market when it comes with shading and string inverters. So here you can see the inverter and all your strings of panels. People think that if you have shading on one of the panel, from there, the whole string gets affected. Is it actually the truth, right? So before I go ahead and explain how a module works, let's see the first rule and the most important rule. The most important rule is to try to avoid shade as much as you can. Those modules are manufactured to be put in the sun and not in shade. So when it comes to planning and design, try to avoid the shade as much as you can. Let's go back to the example now. Let's say you have a string of modules. People think that if you have shading, the other modules will basically perform at less power or similar to what the modules uh, who has shading is. Is it actually the truth? No, it's not. All the other module will perform at 100%. This module, which is getting shaded for example here, the bypass diode at the top of the module will get activated. In, in most panels, there is basically free bypass diode at the top. What will happen? It will basically allow the current to go through like this when the bypass diode is activated. All right. From there, in the Fronius inverter and snap uh, inverter, we have a smart algorithm called the dynamic peak manager. And this dynamic peak manager will try to optimize the amount of energy that you can harvest when you have shading. How does it work? Here I have a PV output and a voltage graph here. A normal inverter, what they're going to do is they're going to try to track the voltage and find, to find this maximum power point or here the global maximum power point. And as soon as they see power reducing, they go back to this point. But when you have shading, your curve can look like the red or the black one. And a normal inverter will get stuck here, for example. The Fronius inverter, what we do with the dynamic peak manager, we try to scan the whole curve every 10 minutes. And from there, what will happen is we can find over global maximum point if they are in terms of shading. From there, if you want to learn more about this topic, look at the link below or go to our website. Thank you.